Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm John Simpson. Today we're going to talk about forcible entry hydraulic tools. Many times firefighters know how to operate them on the fire ground, but they do not know how to take care of them. We have two different types of uh, hydraulic forcible entry tools. One is the hydro rim and the other one is a rabbit tool. They operate in the same way, but are built a little bit different. On the rabbit tool, it has a hydraulic pump, the hose, and then the spreaders. On the hydro ram, it has just a single unit with the piston in it and the spreaders itself. So after we get done using them at the fire ground, we want to clean them up, warm soapy water, wipe them down. The hydro ram, they recommend that you oil the cylinder down with three-in-one oil. The rabbit tool, just regular maintenance care, clean it, keep it in op operation. Again, we want to check and utilize after we're done to make sure the tools are going to function properly. So we can, without any load, we can try it, make sure that it, the, the piston is functioning properly. Lower it down, stow it in place. With the rabbit tool, again, we want to do the same thing, operate it, make sure that the spreaders open and function properly. Again, release the fluid. Some of the troubleshooting that we can do on our tools, if the tools don't want to operate, number one, on the rabbit tool, we want to make sure that the valve is closed, which is on the side here, to be able to build up hydraulic pressure. Again, on the hydro ram, we want to check the valve on the middle there to make sure that um, it is not stuck in the open position, which won't allow the tool to build up pressure. After we've got done maintaining our tools, we should do one last check, at least once a month, we should operate the tools under some type of load. So all we have to do is find a heavy load. A lot of times I like to use the soda machine in the firehouse. We can utilize a dumpster. Come up and place the rams underneath the substantial object. Again, make sure our valve is closed. Operate the tool. Stop it in a position. We can again take a tape measure and um, check our, our height on it. Wait approximately 30 seconds to a minute and see if there's any distance if the tool is starting to leak uh, or lower at all. On the hydro ram, we can do the same function. Again, put it in place, operate the tool under a substantial object, raise it to a height. We can take a tape measure and check our height on it, and then after 30 seconds to a minute, Again, recheck our height and make sure that the tool's not leaking. If the tool is leaking and we can't see any, any leaks on the outside, we recommend that you send it back to the manufacturer. If you have any other problems, again, send it back to the manufacturer. In this video, we reviewed uh, our hydraulic forcible entry tools after the use on the fire ground. We reviewed on how to clean them, how to maintain them, and how to properly check the hydraulics to make sure they're not leaking. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm John Simpson.